Welcome to the Saber RD online training course. This series of fast-paced videos will quickly teach you the full power of the Saber RD simulation environment. In this section, we look at design optimization. One of the most important aspects of circuit design is determining component values that maximize performance. Saber RD automates this process with design optimization. It can be applied to almost any type of circuit, simulation, and measurement. Its general purpose approach can even be applied to circuits with nonlinear or switching operation. Saber RD's design optimization process follows a familiar flow. First, one or more analyses are executed. Next, measurements are applied to the resultant signals. Then, tests are made to determine if the measurements are within design objectives. If not, optimization algorithms are used to modify the parameters, and the process is repeated. The last step in the process is critical. It determines how parameters are adjusted to get closer to optimal results. Saber RD uses a variety of optimization algorithms to achieve this. One way to understand optimization algorithms is to think of the circuit as an arbitrary function. With an initial set of parameters, the circuit is simulated and measured. The parameters are changed slightly and another iteration is executed. If the result is closer to the desired solution, the algorithm continues in that direction. If not, it tries values in a different direction. The goal is to move toward the set of parameters that provides the best answer. We'll show how Saber RD design optimization works by evaluating this simple oscillator circuit that utilizes a 555 timer. Frequency and duty cycle are determined by a timing capacitor and two resistors. Steering diodes for the charge and discharge add flexibility to adjusting the duty cycle. Though there are only a few components in this circuit, manually calculating values for a precise frequency and duty cycle is not trivial. Design optimization makes it much easier to solve. The design specifications call for a frequency of 1 kHz and a duty cycle of 50%. The timing capacitor is fixed to a value of 0.1 microfarad. The optimizer will be used to vary both timing resistors to meet the design specifications. Finding the design optimization tool within the Saber RD environment may not be immediately apparent. Under the Analyze tab, it is part of the Worst Case Analysis tool. Upon selection, its window is displayed. The entire process is set up and executed from within this window. Note that these four steps match the optimization process that was outlined earlier. Before defining each of these four steps, we need to choose which component parameters will be varied by the optimizer. The Edit Parameters button is selected, and a subwindow appears. The nominal resistance parameters for R1 and R2 are selected by navigating through the model hierarchy. The current value field is what will be varied by the optimizer. The initial value for R1 is set to the arbitrary value of 500. The optimizer is bound by specifying a lower and upper limit. The lower limit is set to 100 and the upper limit to 50K. The same settings are used for R2. Upon closing the window, the values are displayed in the parameters window. Now we're ready to begin setting up the four steps of the optimization process. First, we specify two analyses to execute with each iteration of the optimization loop. The first is a DC analysis with default settings. The second is a time domain analysis. Since the target frequency is 1 kHz, an end time of 10 milliseconds will capture about 10 cycles per run. The time step is set to 1 microsecond. Next, the measurements need to be specified. A new measurement is created and named Frequency. It will be applied to the time domain analysis and the signal named OUT will be measured. The type is a time domain frequency measurement. Because the output signal needs to settle before making a measurement, the Optional tab is selected and the X range is changed to measure between 5 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds. The minimum frequency measurement in this range will be recorded. The other measurement is Duty Cycle. It uses similar settings. The objectives of a successful result need to be specified. As stated earlier, the targets are a frequency of 1 kHz and a duty cycle of 50%. The optimizer converges upon an answer quicker if a range is given for the objectives. 
The objectives are Boolean statements. Four objectives are specified to find a solution that is within 1% of the targets. The last step is applying optimization algorithms. There are several algorithms from which to choose. The details of each algorithm are described in detail in the user manual. Multiple algorithms can be selected and placed in any order. Each algorithm iterates multiple times before changing to the next one. With each iteration, the analyses are executed, measurements are made, and objectives checked. If the objectives are not met, the algorithm adjusts the parameters and iterates again. The default set of these three algorithms will be used for this example. This sequence of algorithms can also be looped multiple times, but in this example, we'll stick with the default of only one loop. The setup is complete and the optimization is initiated by pressing the Start Search button. The optimizer runs through the iterations while trying different values for the parameters. The changing values are reflected in the Parameters section. The changing values of the measurements are shown real-time as each iteration is completed. Either the frequency or duty cycle can be viewed. Notice how values converge into the range of the objectives. Alternatively, the changing values for R1 or R2 can be monitored. The shape of the output signal can be viewed by selecting the tab at the bottom. We can see it is approaching the target frequency of 1 kHz and a 50% duty cycle. Pressing the Stop Search button halts the optimizer. While it is stopped, adjustments can be made, including the current values of the parameters. The Start Search button restarts the optimizer. When the optimizer has finished, the parameter section shows the final values for R1 and R2. The setup for this optimization process is saved, so it can be used again on this circuit or a different one. It's time to export the optimized values. Choosing File, Export, Parameters shows various choices. We choose to create a new schematic. Opening the new schematic shows the new values for R1 and R2. More complex circuits can sometimes be more challenging to optimize. Here are some guidelines to success. Optimization works best if the initial values are close to the final optimized set of values. If optimization fails to converge, perform some rough estimations to get a better set of initial values. Be sure there is a possible solution to the optimization and that the minimum and maximum range keep the optimizer from choosing extreme values. The optimizer may converge toward a local minima. If you suspect this is occurring, stop the optimizer and change the current values of the parameters. Or you can modify the algorithms to expand the range of the values it tries, as described in the Sabre RD user manual. This concludes this section of the Sabre RD online training course. To download a free student version of Sabre RD, go to the Synopsys website. To further your understanding of this material, go through the lab exercises found at the link listed in the description of this video.